Hi everyone, I made a two AC power codes to use with my setup. So this one I made for my Denon integrated amplifier, which doesn't require ground. So this one is ground lifted and using the Mogami W3104 with this uh, Oya Ide uh, replica or imitation plugs from China. And I made this one to use it with my Marantz SACD player. This one is made of uh, all genuine uh, Oya Ide parts and uh, accessories. So this one is uh, I'm well grounded and shielded cable that I'm going to use with my Marantz SACD player. So enjoy the video and then uh, make sure you connect it. Your polarity is correct. Otherwise, you might have serious problem. So please do it carefully and please do it at your own risk. So these are the two cables that I built to use in my system and currently I'm using them. They sound great. All those cables I've done, this is how I built. I'm using Oya Ide Neo cable, which is a Oya Ide Neo power cable that they use for, you know, very popular uh, Black Member Alpha series cable. This is a V2, which is a better version with the more uh, pure quality copper. So I bought this cable and these uh, AC connectors. This one gonna be sh shielded and grounded on this end, but not on this side. The copper shield is uh, soldered to ground wire on this end, which is gonna go into the wall. So that's how they're gonna look like this, how they're gonna connect. So black is a uh, hot or live wire, white is a uh, neutral and green is earth wire. Making AC cable is probably the easiest ones to make. Even easier than making RCA interconnects or even you know making speaker cables. It's very simple. All you need to know is where you're going to connect the wires. That's all. And there is a lot of variation of uh, uh, wire geometry and different design. So the, the one I'm gonna use this one is grounded shielded on one end and grounded on other end which is these kind of cables are designed to work great with the uh, uh, digital components like CD, SACD players, digital to analog converter that's those components so this kind of cable going to cancel a lot of uh, noise have in every household this kind of cable with the copper shielding and proper, properly grounded on each end will cancel out all, pretty much all the noise. Let me move this aside. One thing I want to show is rear Oya Ide and fake Oya Ide uh, connectors. So two red one is the rear Oya Ide connectors, AC connectors, and they weight a little bit more plastic quality is much better compared to this black one the red one is a, a authentic Oya Ida plugs you know fake one is not bad at all I mean the fake Oya Ida this one is I mean as good as anything that you can buy from electronic stores but these rear Oya Ida's are much better especially you know this kind of uh, inside copper uh, connectors and the what do you call it washers and everything is thicker and heavier actually this plug is heavier than this one this one is lighter this one is like 32 gram this one is like 44 gram and then another different thing is this uh you see the black one the wire this screw is moving there is a no retainer there when you loosen it this one has the uh, self retaining feature so it the the screw won't come out loose running around like this so that's the another difference between these two and more obvious different is the way that all the lettering on this uh, plugs so this rear plugs has the uh, JET logo uh, Japan electronic whatever the certification uh, logo and then uh, it has the uh, better print out uh, neutral or hot, hot or ground wire logos etc. So the quality different is obvious but 
This one costs uh, $20 for a pair of these. This one costs over $100 for a pair of these. So uh, I don't mind using either or. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one for my uh, rear OER assembly. And this one I'm going to use for my uh, power amp cable assembly. Even, you know, fake OER IDE plugs are as good as anything that you can buy from electronic store. And these are actually better because you can put heavy, two heavy gauge wires on each side of the screw and tighten it. So that's what I'm planning to build for another cable. I'm gonna have a two different methods that I use. One is grounded, one is ground is lifted. And I'm gonna start assembling the cable. Before I do anything, I'm gonna put this sheathing on first. I'm gonna wrap it around with the painter's tape because I don't want the conductors catching this uh, nylon sheathing. So I don't know where you can get this nylon sheathing because I had this for a while. I will include the links in the video description for all these plugs. So this is like a copper retainer that connected with the screw. So when you tighten it, retainer is going to squeeze the wire and the secure in the place. That's how they work. And this for ground. So usually, yeah, this has the uh, marking on here. So this is neutral, this is hot, and this is ground. So all you need to connect is black wire to the uh, life, which is hot, and white wire to neutral, and green wire to the ground. Okay, let's start building. So I'm gonna push this in all the way. Oh, this is how it's gonna look. Okay, then I have to slide this in secure the sheathing on the cable so the sheathing doesn't move. They charge too much for the power cables even they are giving you inferior uh, quality. Some of them are made of uh, really inferior quality uh, conductors. You can do any way you like. You can even do without the sheathing but uh, I want to make my cable look good so so let's do the one end first, then uh, we can move on to the other end. Slide this all the way like this, and then we can shrink it. I'm going to put another one. I want to make sure this one don't come loose. It, may, it should be fine. I just uh, I just like to overbuild everything I do. That's my habit because I don't like to redo it. So this is the I'm using the clear uh, shrink tubing like this. So before all that, I have to put the plugs in, or I have to put the housing. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the housing of these plugs. The clear one is the fake one. It has a better uh, secure metal uh, screw holders. The rear one has the plastic uh, screw, screw housing. This one has a bronze or metal screw housing on the fake one. So white one is the rear Oya Ide uh, AC connector housing. The clear one is the fake one from China. So this one I have to slide in. So basically, this one is very simple. I'm going to shrink it before I slide this in. I'm gonna let it cool down while I'm doing that. I'm gonna build on, I'm gonna shrink on this end. So let me put the housing on. This one is cold enough. So just slide this in. It has the, a little bit of rubber ring in there. There you go. So this one is, shield is connected to the ground 
wire so it's going to the the wall side so I'm just gonna put the ground first like this I got the ground in so you hold it with your thumb so it will come back out and then tighten there you go it's tight enough so ground is in so I'm gonna do the uh, neutral the neutral there you go I got it in then uh, tighten and screw when you tighten it make sure your thumb is on the conductor or the wire because it might come back out when the screw is turning okay I got this in the hot wire or live wire whatever you like to call it the hot wire is in nice and tight and secure so I got the connection made everything is connected now and then uh, I just need to slide this housing on take it easy so that, that way you don't move the uh, this uh, shrink tubing there's a little groove and this little notch that you match and then slide this on that's it I got in now you have to put these screws in and that's the another different on Oya Eater rear Oya Eater connectors these screws are flat the fake one this top the screw heads are rounded this one is flat so that's another difference between fake and real one so this is how I look tighten this uh, retaining screw for the this one gonna uh, secure the uh, cable on the uh, this housing so one side is done this is how I look on this side this side should be a little easier let's do this housing first so let's slide onto the housing make sure you twist it don't push it too hard because it might if you push it too hard it may move the uh, this uh, shrink tubing now, now after I got this housing in it's very straightforward and simple I want to do all three together at the same time I want to slide them in so this is how I look so secure the conductors There you go. So it's nice and tight and secure. This is how it look. All the screws are tightened. Let me make sure. So I got everything in. Now I, all I have to do is put the housing. So here's a little groove. As you can see, I don't know if you can. Yeah, there you go. That's a groove. And there's, there is a little right there yeah that's that is a little notch so you just need to uh, match the groove and the notch and you can slide it in that's it my friend then I need to use a smaller screwdriver on this it's done so this is done this is all 100% Oya Ide for, except for these uh, nylon sheathing so this is with the grounded cable so I'm gonna you have a gauge and you know everything in the video description and in the video so this is a one cable down I'm gonna build another one now this one is gonna be for my uh, Dano integrated amplifier because most of a Dano or Marantz integrated amplifiers the especially on modern amplifier the ground is lifted so you don't need ground wires so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cable which is Mogami W3104 speaker cables and I'm using this uh, 
Oya Ide are replica plugs. Given the price, which is not bad, this pair of these for $20. I will include the link in the video description. Let's get it started. Before we do anything, as usual, slide these uh, nylon sheathing. You know, build quality on these cables are awesome. Okay, I got the sheathing on. I'm trying to slide on this uh, uh, wire uh, shrink tubing. This cable is so thick. There you go, I got it on. Let me remove this tape. So I got the both of the shrink tubing on. One gonna slide to this side. Slide all the way. It's gonna look like this. I'm using all the conductors, all four conductors. I'm not gonna use any ground wire. I'm gonna try to put this clear tubing onto this. So let's do this side. Got it on. Let's shrink it. So let me. It's gonna be a bit hard to get it on because this cable is so thick. Just take your time, take it easy, just twist it, keep twisting it. By holding the cable this is live this is a neutral I'm not gonna be using ground pin I'm just gonna leave it as it is you can use these conductors however you like because this Mogami cable come with the four different colors there is like a two holes on uh, two area on each side of the screw so I'm gonna put conductors on each side of the screw and then uh, I can secure it properly there I need to get in both cable at the same time. Let me get this. There you go. I got it in cleanly now. Now I have to tighten the screw. Very cleanly, no stray wires. So this is how I look. Everything is connected properly. Now I can put these screws in. As you can see, everything is very snugly and tightly fit on this plug. This is how I look. And I'm going to finish the other end. Perfect. So it went on easily. Now I got the red and all, red and brown in. So I'm gonna tighten it. On. That's a hot side. There you go. Nice and tight. Oh, by the way, strip the wire. Probably like three quarter of an inch uh, strip uh, of the, this jacket. Now. So I got this together. This is how it connected. It says neutral on this side and live or L on this and on this. So that's how you connect it. So this is how it's gonna go like this. So I already matched the groove. This is this screw just to attach the outer protection housing. Now all I have to do is slide this rubber washer or this thing that uh, go between this housing and the cable because the cable is so thick that it keep moving. So I have to reassemble it. Don't worry if it's come out you can put it back together like mine. So it's not hard. It's just a little extra work if you're using uh, this kind of a big gauge wires that's it all set this is how I look on this end so let's tighten the uh, cable retainer so this is done and here's uh, the white one is 100% Oya Ide material this one is fake Oya Ide plug and Mogami W3104 
that's what I use on this one. I hope this helped you uh, building the cable. So usually uh, you can buy eBay. I will include the link. You can also buy these on Amazon. They work very good. But if you can use it, use a real one, but it's too expensive for AC connectors. That's how I built my cables. As you can see, I kind of like this uh, transparent look on these AC connectors. And then uh, if you have a question, please ask away and then uh, I will try to answer all the questions. My DIY cables. Right away, I'm going to try these on my amplifier. And then uh, I will let you guys know how they sound and how they work. I will make uh, another different video comparing my PS Audio AC power codes. So thank you for watching.